Um, so with that said, what I want to do is go over your plan option for you that's going to be effective as of July 1st, 2011 with Cigna. You're not changing your carrier, so you're still with Cigna. So all of your doctors and hospitals are still going to be in network. You're not going to have to go online to double check and make sure if your doctors and hospitals are in or, or out of network. Okay, Cigna is, Cigna is your carrier for your medical and your pharmacy. Right now you're on Cigna's Open Access Plus copay plan, and what you're changing to is a Cigna Open Access Plus high deductible health plan. Okay? So what's different about ooh, what's different about your plan is the fact that you're used to walking in the doctor's office and paying a copay for your services. What's going to work now differently with this plan is you have an upfront deductible that has to be met. What's really great about this, though, is Monroe is contributing 75% of your deductible upfront, so you can use that for your services. Okay. So again, just to be clear, you're going to have Cigna still as your carrier for your medical and pharmacy, and then you're going to have Newtown Savings Bank, which is going to be a health savings account vehicle for you. It's just like it sounds, it's your own private savings account. You're going to receive a debit card and also a checkbook, and we're also going to have another meeting in regards to how you're going to, how you're going to set up your health savings account, okay? because you're going to have to use that account for your medical expenses. And we'll talk about that a little bit more further on in the presentation. So um, what we've done here is highlighted for you. Like I said, you're currently on the open access copay plan. You are not going to be walking into your doctor's office and paying that $25 copay anymore. What's going to happen is you have that high upfront deductible to meet first. You have a $2,000 deductible for a single, and you have a $4,000 deductible for a family. A family constitutes two or more people. Since Monroe is funding that 75%, and this is why it's really important that you open your savings account, is because Monroe needs to put those funds into your account for you. For a single person, you're going to get $1,500 deposited into your account, and for a family, you're going to get $3,000 deposited into your account. The funds that are deposited in, into your account is what you're going to use for your health care expenses, for your doctor's visits, and also we'll go through some eligible and ineligible items too through a health savings account. So um, all your medical and pharmacy services are going to apply towards your deductible. Again, there's no longer any co-pays. And Cigna's going to pay 100% for in-network charges once your deductible has been met. If you choose to go out of network, you're just going to pay a little bit more out of your pocket. Some people ask me, well, why would I want to pay more out of my pocket? Some people have a relationship already established with a doctor, or maybe they have a surgery that's coming up and there's a surgeon recommended by a family member and that's who you want to use. That's fine. It's completely your choice. You can do so. It's just going to cost you a little bit more. Your out-of-network um, deductibles are the same for out-of-network, so it's 2000 for the single and 4000 for a family. And after that deductible has been met, there's a small coinsurance that needs to be, made, to, needs to be met excuse me, with a cap for 4000 or 8000 Again, Monroe is contributing that 75% that's going to be deposited into your health savings account. It's very important that you just distinguish between the, do, the two because Cigna is for your medical and pharmacy, your carrier, and whereas the health savings account is where you're going to have your funds. So that works just like the bank account. Again, like I mentioned, you're going to have the same network, so you don't have to go and check and see if your doctors or hospitals are in the network. We're still covering your medical and pharmacy routine, emergency, and catastrophic care. Also, you have the option to go out of network if you choose. You're not going to have co-payments due at the time of visit anymore. Okay? And preventive care is now covered at 100%. So there's no longer a copay associated with preventive care. Preventive care is covered at 100% by the plan, and you do not have to meet your deductible first. Your health savings account that's through Newtown Savings Bank can be used for your deductible. Also, since it's different now when you walk into the doctor's office, you're still going to show your ID card, but again, you're not going to pay that copay. What's going to happen from your services is that Cigna is going to send that claim 
The doctor's office, excuse, excuse me, is going to send that claim directly to Cigna. You don't want to pay when you're in the doctor's office, and the reason is if you're utilizing an in-network provider, you want to receive Cigna's discounted rate. So that claim is going to be sent to Cigna, and then Cigna's going to send you an explanation of benefit, which you're all familiar with because you're receiving those now. On the explanation of benefit, it's going to list out all of your services and or charges. So it's going to say, Joe Smith went into the doctor's office. It cost $100. The discounted rate from using a Cigna in-network provider is 75. Your responsibility is X. And then what you can do is use your health savings account, what you have your um, savings that Monroe has contributed into that account for you to pay for those services. You're gonna have, again, the checkbook and also the debit card, which we'll get into a little bit more detail about. And there's also gonna be a separate meeting on that as well. And we'll go over the dates at the end of the presentation. Also, a really great feature about the health savings account is it's not like an FSA. It's not like use it or lose it. You have these funds that roll over and accumulate. So you're never gonna lose that money that you put into that health savings account. Okay, so um, I know I've been trying to distinguish between the two. You have your high deductible health plan, that's with Cigna. And then you have your check card, your uh, debit card, and your checkbook, which is your savings vehicle, your savings account through Newtown Savings Bank. Having the two of these in conjunction with each other is what equals a consumer-directed plan. Just to reca recap, you have that upfront deductible, deductible that must be met. Your prescriptions are subject to the deductible. Your preventive care is now covered at 100% with no deductible. Also, your account, it rolls over from year to year, so it's not use it or lose it like an FSA. Also, your HSAs are triple tax-free, so your deposits, withdrawals, and growth are tax-free. So I know I've already gone over really how the plan works, but just to make sure that everybody understands it, on the left-hand side, there shows an example for a single, and the right-hand side shows an example for a family. On the left-hand side, the family example, it shows that you have the deductible, the $4,000, in or out of network. After you satisfy the deductible, the plan then pays 100%. So Monroe is giving you as a family $3,000 that's gonna be contributed into your health savings account. So you have that first $3,000 to use towards the deductible, and then if you still have more charges, you would have that $1,000 at the most that you would have to pay out of your pocket for in-network costs, okay? And then also for the single two, you just have the $2,000 deductible where Monroe is contributing that $1,500. For in-network, you're gonna, and then after that deductible has been met, the services are gonna be covered at 100% in-network, and again, you have that $1,500 contributed.